Okay, uh, back where we were. Let's see. Um, let's say be dependable. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, we offer the online billing to them, and that's something else you can do that a lot of people like. So, offer the online billing. So, I mean, we actually are working right now on a client portal uh, that'll go into our website, integrate into our website as well to make it even easier yet for, um, you know, new customers to, to pay their bills with us. So, um, that's one thing we offer. Um, the credit card billing is, is an absolute must. Um, we do that with 97% of our clients probably. Um, you still have you still have the little old ladies that, that want to pay you with a check and things like that. And that's totally fine. As long as they're trustworthy people and you don't have problems getting your money, go right ahead. Don't worry about that at all. But another benefit, and I'm telling you, this is a benefit and you're going to like it. When, when I talked earlier about uh, my previous videos about getting everybody to be a prepaid customer, this is where the credit card comes in. Um, we have, we, we absolutely make it mandatory. We get a credit card from you and that credit card gets billed the first of the month before we even set foot on your property for that month of billing. Okay. This is for your benefit as well as theirs. It's easy for them. They slap that card. Everybody's got plastic today. Uh, for the most part, they use it. You need to be using that. You can get these machines set up. A lot of times they'll set them up for free with your business. You do have to pay a certain percentage um, every time you swipe those cards, but it's minute compared to the benefits of having that card, okay? It stops your financial problems. It keeps that money coming in. You're not mowing a property for a month and then when you go to collect, you can't get your money and you're out all that money. So by having the credit card, it's a huge benefit for you and it's a benefit for them and they like that because they can pay with their credit card, okay? They don't have to write checks anymore. People are trying to get away from that stuff. So, all right, let's see. Uh, do a good job, do a great job. Um, and when I talk about this, about stealing them away, it's not how to beat your competition is one thing. It, you can never lose track of how to keep the clients that you already have. I've made that mistake. We started to grow so fast that I was losing track of, of the customers that we had. We were doing lousy work. We were swamped. We didn't have enough guys hired. We we're building trucks as fast as we could. Uh, we literally outpaced ourselves. We out we outdid ourselves with the internet marketing and all the marketing things that we did. And we gained a ton of customers. We weren't ready for it, anywhere near uh, ready for it. So we've learned a lot from that. But what hurt us is we ended up losing customers that it cost us money to get to begin with. And we went through all those steps, got the customers. We were doing lousy work for them, inconsistent work, and we ended up losing them. So please don't ever lose track of that. Pay attention to that. Every customer is gold. Treat them like that. So just keep that in the back of your mind all the time because you don't want to lose them, okay? They're hard to get. So not not hard to get, but I mean, you know what it is, you know? I mean, they are. To a certain extent, they are. Um, all right, communicate with your clients. Communicate with them all the time. This is, this is what we do. Um, we could do a better job of it. We always could do a better job, and we always try to do a better job. Um, I like to call our customers up at least once a month, talk to them, or the office girls will call them. We send emails back and forth to them all the time. Obtain emails from them if you can get them because it is so vital that you, you communicate with them. If you're having troubles where it's been raining all week and you haven't been able to get to them, instead of waiting till Friday or Saturday and you get the call at your office with them complaining about where are you because it's not raining today. I don't know why they're not here. Well, for four days it rained. They had all those clients to take care of in four days. They never got to do any of them because it rained steady for four days. Where do you think you are on the list, okay? That's not the way, of course, you talk to a customer, but you have to explain to the customer. And there's where the emails come in, where it's so handy to have that because you can send them an email and apologize, say, you know, it's rained all week. We're literally four days behind. We're working around the clock to try and catch up. Um, the weather's just not cooperating with us. Thank you in advance for your patience. As soon as you send that little email out, let's say you have 300 customers or 50 customers, whatever you have, you have all those email addresses, you type it out, you press one button, it goes out to everybody, they all get it, and then your office isn't flooded with calls on Saturday and Sunday, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, here's another simple little thing. Simple little thing you can do that means things to people. I don't know how many times I've approached their, their driveways as I come up to mow and I see a paper laying in the driveway. 
I grab the paper, walk up to their house, takes me less than 60 seconds, knock on the door, give them their paper. They appreciate that. And just that you get to see them because then you could say, hi, hi, Mrs. Jones, how are you? I just wanted to give you your paper here and, and ask you, how are we doing? Are we doing a good job for you? They really appreciate that. When, when you leave after you get done talking with them and they go back in the house, they're thinking about you. They're like, you know, he is such a nice guy, this, that, and the other. So they don't want to leave you, okay? And they'll tell other people about you. So as we talk about how to beat your competition, you need to get your neighbors talking about you. You need to get your clients talking about you about what a good job you do and what a, what a nice guy you are and things like that, okay? All right. Um, point out concerns. Concerns in their lawn, things that make a difference, things that are, you know, like, hey, you know, Mrs. Johnson, those shrubs really need to be done. You know, I hate to keep bringing this up to you, but they look terrible, you know. We want to make it look nice for you, but what do you think? You want us to cut them this month? You'll talk yourself into more work just from saying things like that to people and, and make money off the extras, what's called extras in our business, okay? Uh, you have your, your standard maintenance, you know, your mow blow goes, and then you have all the extras. And the extras are really where you make a lot of your money. So I'm gonna do a video on that too, coming up about how to push for those things and to get them. You gotta have productive uh, clients, clients that want you to do these things. And I'm gonna give you some keys on how to get to that in a coming video. Um, be consistent. Be consistent. Try to get there every day of the week that you're supposed to be there. Do the best job you can. And like I said, if you can't communicate with them, that's all you got to do. All right. And I know a part of this is twofold is keeping the customers, but and I'm also helping you get them too. So keep this in mind. Um, encourage referrals. Here's another thing to beat your competition. Your competition generally is not going after referrals from your, from your clients. Okay. They have a client, they're just there, mow, blow, and go, and they go down the road, and they hope they get paid at the end of the month. So being consistent, we talked about that, encouraging the referrals, and, and I really want to encourage you guys to do this because you got to do it. This is something your competition is not doing. They're coming in there, they're mow, mow, blow, go, and they go down the road, and like I said, they hope they get their paycheck. But you can do so much more. By encouraging them to give you those referrals, they're going to bring you more clients, okay? And that's what you want because the more clients you get, the less clients your competition gets. Keep that in mind, okay? Um, if you're late, call them. We talked about that. Be consistent as much as you can. Communicate the best you can with them. But by far, just to reiterate, answer your phone. Be Johnny on the spot to get those. Get there. Dress good. Look good. Be professional. Come in there with nice looking equipment if you can afford it, even if you got to borrow your mom's car to do it. Look good when you get there, Okay. Um, and let them know, sell them on, on what makes you better than your competition. And that is that you're consistent. Now, anyone can do that. I, I, when I look for something that makes us different from my competition, I can't say that I literally mow grass any better than the next guy. I could never say that. And, and I don't know that I can trim shrubs any better than the next guy. I don't know that at all. But what I do know is that I can be consistent. I can provide top-notch service to these people. We're there every week doing what needs to be done. Hopefully this helps you out. Now my dogs are barking, so I got to go deal with them. Good gravy. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Leave me your comments down below about other videos, and I'll shoot them out as quick as I can. George Packard with this another exciting edition of Desktop. Thanks, guys. See ya.